Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel today. We are going to do a get ready with me. I have a concert to go to tonight so I figured I'd sit down and film my makeup look that I'm going to wear to the concert tonight which is this. I hope you guys enjoy this. Oh and there is a difference on me. It's my hair. I changed my hair color. I love it a lot. It's more of a bob. You can't see it now because my hair is not straight whatsoever. It's all doing its own thing. I love this dark color on me. I think it makes my eyes pop and you know it's just time to try something a little different, a little new. So I hope you guys enjoy my hair as much as I do and let's get on with the video. Okay so first I'm going to start off with this Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer by Kane and Austin. I'm going to let that sit on my skin for a little while while I do my eyes. The only thing I don't like about this is it's a tinted so it's a tinted moisturizer, so it's not the color of my skin. And I'm primarily going to put that on my oily areas. Oh, I forgot to mention the elephant in the room. I changed my hair. It's different now, and I love it so much more. Funny story, the first week that I got it done, it was black. Like this black. It was insane. I just waited it out. I washed it and I don't know if you can tell if it's like dark brown. It looks kind of black in the viewfinder but anyway I changed it a little while ago so I'm happy with it. I'm gonna take this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. How have you guys been? I feel like lately I have not been on the game with uploading as often. Like I've missed a week or so. Mind you, I am in grad school, so I had a lot of huge papers due. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that with, this is the Balm Jovi palette by The Balm. Set it with this shade right here. I'm using that because it's the same color as my lid. Next, let's start putting something in the crease. I don't know why I use this. I'm not gonna use this today. <laughs> I'm gonna go into my Makeup Forever large thing where I have all of my single eyeshadows and take this shade right here. It's called Beaches and Cream and just start working that into the crease. We're gonna make it gradual just because this is going to be a dramatic look. I'm going to a concert tonight so I think I want to try and go pretty bold and I'm not being super precise about where I put this because it's just to give our crease some depth. I'm gonna take this shade right here, Creme Brulee. These are all my Makeup Geek that I'm using. And again, take it on this brush, top off the excess. Start putting that in the crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with a more precise brush. This is an Eco Tools brush, and this is like the blend side. There is a small definer side and a blend side. So I'm just gonna take this and start working in this shade called Coco Bear, again, by Makeup Geek. Not the right brush for that. I'm gonna take this one. It's a MAC 217. Again, take that Coco Bear shade. Ah, oh, okay, a little better. We will go back in and blend, I promise. I'm going to start working in this beautiful shade right here called Bitten. Again, it's by Makeup Geek. Taking it on the same brush and really making that outer V more cranberry. If you guys are in school, how is your school year going? I'm curious, please comment down below because I'm over the semester, I'm ready for summer. I always go higher with my eyeshadow on this side and I don't know why. I'm gonna go back in and blend out the edges of this. Then I'm going to take this same brush and put a little bit, I think this is fudge, fudge from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's this dark brown shade. Take a little bit of it and just put it in the outer V. I'm going to use this ColourPop eyeshadow. It's called Blaze. Kathleen Lights collaborated with ColourPop on this shade. So I'm going to put this all over the lid. I like going for these glittery looks when I'm going to concerts. When you're in the, the crowd, the lights are going to shine on your eyeshadow and really make it pop. ColourPop eyeshadows do best when they're applied with your finger. That's all I'm gonna do for the lids of my eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you back out and we'll start on my face. So this sponge is now wet. This is the L'Oreal blending sponge. Wow, it's really dirty. Ooh. Today I am going to go in with this number seven beautifully matte foundation. It has a pump. It's from the drugstore. I got this at Walgreens. This is amazing. I did a first impressions of it a while ago. Pump works a lot better now. So I put that on the back of my hand. I'm going to take the butt of the sponge. Just start working this into my skin. 
this foundation applies so well you really don't need to do a whole lot of blending with this because it kind of blends itself. And this is so full coverage. This is going to keep me matte at the concert because if you've ever been to a concert, it is very sweaty. There's a lot of people there and it's very easy to have your makeup come right off. And I can't believe how matte this foundation is as it goes on. I barely need to set it with any powder at all. I'm gonna take this CoverGirl Outlast Concealer, now I love and hate this. I love the formula, I love the product. The packaging, it almost gets this little air bubble up here and so I have to push, push, and push until it comes out and a lot of times it ends up and too much product comes out because I'm pull pushing on it so hard to get the air bubble out. It's so easy to travel with. It blends so well. And since we did our eyes already, I'm really going to try to avoid hitting some of this area right here on the eyes that we've already done. So I'm going to take this Bare Minerals Bare Pro powder. I have been testing this out. I think I might do a wear test on this throughout just by itself to see really how much coverage it has. I much prefer pressed powders to loose powders. It's so much easier to, to work with. So the concert that we're going to tonight is called Skillet. If you've ever heard of them, they're amazing. You see them every time they come to town and it's a rock concert. So I'm really excited about that. Next, I'm gonna use a bronzer and I think I'm gonna use the Too Faced Sweet Peach Sweet Tea Bronzer with my bronzer brush that I always use. Put this on the hollows of my cheeks. I don't really contour and bronze because when I use this brush, because it is tapered at the top, I feel like it kind of contours for me as well as bronzes. I think once you put bronzer on, the contour kind of goes away and it's like, okay, you just wasted that. All right, so now that I'm all bronzy, let us do, you don't know. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. I have to be so careful with this, it is so, whole pigmented so if I do anything more than just like tap it like that I will just get too much product perfect then I'm gonna use the Casey Holmes Smashbox palette this is the pearl palette looks like this this is the bomb Com. I'm gonna mix these. Oh my gosh, my brush is falling apart. I'm going to use these two shades. Nope, these two shades right here and apply them to the tops of my cheekbones. The glow that you get from this is subtle, but you can so you can build it up to make it this like poppin' thing. I love these two shades mixed together. They just did such a good job. And the formulation is killer because this stays on my skin all day long. <gasps> my brush! You see this? It just came off. You're gonna stay whether you like it or not, brush. I'm gonna zoom you back in and we will finish the eyes. All right, so since I dyed my hair darker, I had to get a darker eyebrow brush. This is from Marvlon. It's the Colorstay Brow Pencil and it's in dark brown. I like it. I don't think I like it as well as the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is. This just seems more waxy to me. Especially if you put too much on, you can just look like a whole wax mess, but the tip is an interesting shape. Like, do you see that? It's like curved. So I just start lightly applying it because if I apply too much pressure, it will look very waxy. If it gets too waxy on me, I always just go ahead and brush through them to help kind of even that color out. Then I'm gonna set them with the ABH. I'm just, I'm done saying that whole name. Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's too long. I'm gonna set those brows so they don't move throughout the night because that would suck if, you know, one eyebrow was up here and the other one's like, ah! Don't set my eye, my hairs in my eyebrow. Let's do the bottom, the lower lash line. Normally what I do for the lower lash line is I take a definer brush like this and I put the darkest shade in the outer part of my eye. So for example, I'll probably do the Anastasia the ABH fudge, put a little bit on this brush and just start working it in the outer part of my eye because if you bring it in too much, it's really gonna close off your eye and look at make it look really small. So that's about as far as I'm, as I'm gonna go with the dark shade. So I'm gonna take the Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear, just a little bit lighter of a shade and start blending this out. If you guys have ever seen Skillet Live in concert, you should comment down and let me know, down below, and let me know 
that rhymed because I love them. They're so much fun to go see. I'm gonna put on some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look. I just added some mascara. I put black eyeliner on my lower lash line and that was it. Oh, I put mascara on my lower lash line as well. But this is the finished look. Well, kind of. Should I add lipstick? I hate adding lipstick when I go to concerts because it is such a pain to go to the bathroom and touch it up. I'm going to add a couple setting sprays. So if you are going to concerts or if you're going to festivals, anything like that during the summer, I highly recommend you setting your makeup because the environment you're going to be in, it's hot, it's sweaty, it will melt your makeup off. So the first thing that I'm going to go in with is this Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. I'm gonna let that set. And the good thing is about setting sprays is that if you put the spreading, the setting spray went down my shirt. So the good thing about setting sprays is if you put too much powder on and it just looks cakey, if you put a setting spray on, it's really going to help minimize the look of the cakiness. Setting sprays are all around really good. And then that set a little bit. So I'm gonna take this L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. So that is all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. I have an Instagram and Twitter, so if you're interested, please follow me there and we can chat it up. Don't think I have anything else to say. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.